Well, I think the the, the major the main point is that it's going to be a rea- it already is a reality. So you're you're seeing in the case of performance enhancing drugs and in, in sport, people are using them. I mean, they they claim that Australia is this great villain. I mean, Australians have just actually decided to look a little bit more carefully than the rest of the world, but it's everywhere. Likewise, people are starting to use cognitive enhancers uh, like Ritalin, Adderall, and Modafinil. A lot of university students, if not the majority, uh, in some parts of the world are using those forms of cognitive enhancement. So enhancement creeps up on you. Uh, and you know we're going to have to face questions about you know what should the limits be, uh, what sorts of safety data should there be, uh, who should have access, should it be a you know a private market or public market? Uh, how are these different to conventional enhancements like education? So you know when people say oh, it's just science fiction or it's not really an issue, who cares? Yeah, they will be left behind um, because you know already we're starting to see the sort of issues of not addressing this in sport, um, but it's going to be in the whole of life. I mean, people have already voted with their feet using Viagra and other enhancements of their relationships, cosmetic surgery, uh, mood enhancements like alcohol and recreational drugs. We live in an enhancement society, so we should at least have a decent set of ethical principles rather than you know sticking our head in the sand like ostriches and you know saying that it's it's not going to occur or it's not you know uh, or you know we have a set of rules that are sufficient to sort it out. I mean we clearly don't.